What number goes for the X? Isaiah. Negative three. Do y'all agree with Isaiah? Isn't the first number always X? What number is going to be Y then? Eight. 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 All right. Now, I don't know what the next point is, but I do. Because don't they tell me the slope? Yes. Which one is going up by two? The Y's or the X's? Yes. Try again. Y. The slope is the change in Y over the change in X. X. The Y's are going up by two. What's the next number? Eight plus two. The X's are, go I'm sorry, the X's are going up by three. What's the next number in my table? What's negative three plus three? Zoe? Isn't zero the number we're looking for in the table? Yes. So what is my y-intercept? 10. 10. Is everybody with me? Yes. Now we know the y-intercept. Don't we already know the slope? Yes. Let's write the equation. What is it? Y equals 2 thirds x. 2 thirds x plus, plus 10. Plus 10. We're done. Any questions on number one? Once you did the slope one time, add 2 to 8. Add 3 to negative 3, it gives you 0, 10. 0, 10 is the y-intercept. Remember, the y-intercept is where x equals 0. We're going to do the same thing on number 2. Let's make a table. Addison Jones, which number goes on top? 2. 2. I agree with Addison. What number goes on bottom, Kaylee? 15. 15. All right, I need to get some more points. What are the X's going, I'm sorry, the Y's going up by, Bailey? Negative five. They're going down five, I agree with Bailey. How about the X's, Zach? Good, because doesn't that slope really reduce to negative five over one? Yeah. So I agree with Zach, the X's are going up by one. What's two plus one? Three. Three, what's 15 minus five? 10. Ten. Okay, if I keep going that way, am I ever going to get to zero? No, because no, the next number would be four, five, six. I'm going to go backwards. Let's subtract one. What's the next number? One. Let's add five. What's the next number? Four. Is that my answer? No. Is that the y intercept? No. Well, let's do it again. Add five more. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Subtract one more. Zero. Winner, winner. We found the y intercept. So now we know the slope is negative 5, x, and the y-intercept is plus 25. Okay, questions. Now, have we done a problem exactly like that? Yeah. No, but haven't we had to count back to find the zero in the table before? Yes, sir. Okay, so there's going to be a few questions like this on the test tomorrow. Are you with me? Now, let's do, I'm going to make it even more challenging. What if I do this? I just give you two points. Now, I'll just use three. I'm going to use a different number. Let's use four, six, and six, uh, nine. No, ten. What if they don't give me the slope? They just give me two points. What do you think we might want to do? Perla. Let's do y2 minus y2. I could. Perla's like, we could do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, yes. But I don't want to do that, Perla. I'm going to be a rebel. No. Mm -hmm. What else can we do? Gabby. Yeah, that's what we're eventually going to do. Zoe? Table. Table. Make another table, people. That was the answer I was looking for. All right, what is this number? Uh, X. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. <laughs> Whoever said four. <laughs> what number is this? The y. the y. So there's that point put in. What is this? The X. What is this? The y. Now, we can do the slope without having to do that y2 minus y1. Mm -hmm. How much are the y's going up? Four. Four? How about the x's? Two. Two. So what is my slope? 
Four. Let's reduce four over two. Let's try again. Four over two does not reduce to one half. Two over one. So my slope is what? Two over one X or just two X? Sweet. Now what do we need to find? The Y intercept, which is zero. All right, I could keep adding two. If I add two, is that gonna help me? Let's go backwards. That's minus two. What's the next number? Two. Let's minus four. Two. two. Let's minus two again. Zero. That's the one I'm looking for. Let's minus four again. What's two minus four? Negative, Negative two. two. There is my y-intercept. Okay. If on the review they give you like a point and a slope, make a table, count back until you hit zero. That'll be your y-intercept. If they give you two points, do the same thing. Make a table, and you can find the slope pretty easily from the table. It turns out to be two over one. And then count back four, count back four, count back two, count back two. There's the magic number that goes right there. Any questions? All right. Take a